Hi, I'm Lieutenant Commander Jim Cowan. I'm the physical therapist here at Bud's Medical. Uh, we see approximately 900 students per month coming through our physical therapy rehab clinic. And so what we've hoped to put together was four or five short videos on um, some of the key training tips that you can take away to keep you out of our clinic and keep you healthy before you come to BUDS. The things we're going to put out in these videos are based on approximately 20,000 students that have come through our clinic in the last two years. So uh, I keep finding myself telling students the same things over and over. If you had just worked on these few other issues that you probably would have never been injured in my clinic, but they didn't. So <laughs> we're hoping to put out some good gouge on uh, some of the best training tips to, before you come here to BUDS. First thing we'll talk about is nutrition. Uh, there's absolutely no supplements allowed here at BUDS. And you really shouldn't be needing any supplementation as long as you're eating a good diet. Um, the one thing that we do recommend is with such a high stress fracture rate is that you take on at least 1,000 milligrams of calcium on a daily basis. And that's very easy to do just drinking three glasses of milk. But the nutritionist for all of special warfare advises 1,000 milligrams of calcium. And that's important because we have one of the highest stress fracture rates in the world here. Uh, up to 15% of our patients sustain a st stress fracture while they're here. And good calcium uh, and strong bones before you get here is a very important part of that. So we do recommend 1,000 milligrams of daily calcium. We also recommend that you can take on uh, 1,000 milligrams of vitamin C, which is easy to do with a good glass of orange juice and some additional fruit. It's also very important to hydrate because uh, dehydration can lead to a lot to fatigue and especially here in California with the heat, we make sure that some good hydration habits right now is, is very important. The last thing is a good balanced diet with a lot of color on your plate is all we recommend. You shouldn't need uh, creatine or excessive protein as long as you're eating a balanced diet and a little bit of meat. In fact, some of those types of supplements or excessive protein can be a problem, especially in high heat training here. So to summarize, really all you need from a nutrition aspect is to make sure that you're taking on a good amount of calcium, 1,000 milligrams a day, you're drinking enough water, and that you're really eating a balanced diet with a lot of colors on your plate. So if you do that, you're really ahead of the game in terms of the nutrition that you need. So once again, this is Lieutenant Commander Cowan at BUDS, and uh, hoping you stay healthy.